Well, we have our, um, our big part of our customer base in the group um, is the challenger banks and the fintechs. And of course, um, we are a provider of services to those companies. Um, we are one of the leading card manufacturers um, to those companies. Um, so of course, it's a good opportunity for us to showcase um, some of our new product ranges that are coming to the market. So we have, um, we have our biometric fingerprint um, cards that we're now, uh, we've now industrialized. Uh, we've been piloting them and working on that technology for the last um, two to three years. Um, so there's been a lot of hype and talk around biometric, but now uh, we're in a place where we're able to um, go and industrialize and launch um, launch of our customers that particular product range. Um, and of course, with a biometric card, it's going to be, um, in our view, it's the um, it's going to be a, a game changer um, because a lot of customers, although they have the the mobile technology to make the payments um, as a secondary product, or, or for some people, they don't always like the technology on the phone. They prefer to still use the physical card. We see biometrics as being um, a solution to compete with the mobile payments world. Um, of course, no need for um, a PIN, um, no need for certain, um, certain limits on the transactions, um, going from contactless to having to enter the PIN number, the biometric fingerprint sensor means you can do everything on a on a on a contactless transaction um, if you lose the card you have all the benefits of um, of course nobody can use that card fraudulently because a lot of the time you might misplace the card or not know you've lost it so we know you can turn a card off on an app but you don't always realize straight away that the card um, isn't present with you anymore so for customers there's a lot of fear around um, people spending fraudulently on the card. There's some customers who don't always like to use the pin pads because um, the world of aftermath of COVID, um, people got a little bit more sensitive to that. Um, there's people, uh, occasionally we've all had maybe the, the brain freeze when you're at a checkout and the, um, the pin goes from the mind. So you're sort of like stuck embarrassed at the till. So we get rid of that, we eradicate it. Um, so we're here today really wanting to showcase to our customers, potential customers and partners, um, these new solutions that we have in the marketplace. Um, and also we are seeing a lot of added value in the metal card ranges that we're doing. Um, so metal card, obviously the premium card uh, products that the challenges are, um, are really pushing with their customer base um, to give them a little bit more of that that feel and um, you know emotional contact with something that's a more premium, higher end. So yeah, so today we're we're showcasing all our all our new products, yeah, as well as traditional products. There's a lot of new things coming to this industry. There's a lot of tech developing, um, so it's important that there's there's in, it's important we have a physical meeting place, you know. Um, so I think this event in central. London really you know that you know let let's be real that the hub of the hub of this challenger bank market has been here in the UK it's developing and rolling out into the rest of Europe but um, this is this is the hub and I think it's um, it's important that um, we have events like this in in London for sure